Hallelujah. Christ is risen. The Lord, Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. Um, Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, has been sacrificed for us. For us. Therefore, let us, let us keep the peace, peace. Not, not with the old leaven, leaven the leaven of malice and evil, and evil, but with, with the young and and truth. Alleluia. Christ, Christ the grave of the dead, will never die again. again. Death no death longer no has longer dominion, dominion over him. him. Death the death that he, he died, he died to sin. Once, once for all. But, but the life he lives, he lives, he lives to come. So, so consider so yourselves so so dead to sin, sin, sin and alive to God, God, God Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Oh, oh, yeah. Christ, Christ has been has raised, raised from the dead. The, dead. the, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by man, 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 man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For yeah. as in Adam all die, so in Christ so shall, all Christ shall all be made alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. A voice cries out, in the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up and every mountain and hill made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all people shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, when the breath of the Lord blows upon it, surely the people are grass. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald the good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank to God. <clears throat> Psalm 121. I lift up mine eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help, my help comes, comes from, from the Lord, Lord the maker, maker of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. The Lord will not let your foot be moved, and the one who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, the, the one, one who keeps watch over Israel, Israel shall not slumber, slumber nor sleep. It is the Lord who watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. So, so the sun, sun shall not strike you by day, day nor the moon, the moon by, by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. The Lord shall keep you safe. The, the Lord, Lord shall watch over you going out and coming in from this time from forth, time forth evermore. evermore. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit. as it was in the beginning, it is now, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to John. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. His disciples had gone to the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask a drink of me, a woman of Samaria? Jews do not share things in common with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have no bucket, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our ancestor Jacob, who gave us the well, and with his sons and his flocks drank from it? 
Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But those who drink of the water that I will give them will never be thirsty. The water that I will give will become in them a spring of water gushing up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so that I may never be thirsty or have to keep coming here to draw water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the ministry of William Hobart Hare, the Apostle to the Sioux. Hare was a missionary bishop to the Neobrara Territory and later the first bishop of South Dakota. He was born in Princeton, New Jersey in 1838. Although he studied at the University of Pennsylvania, he never received a degree and he prepared for ordination without attending seminary. He was ordained a deacon in 1859 and a priest in 1862. He served for a short time at St. Luke's and St. Paul's Chestnut Hill, both in Philadelphia. He moved to Minnesota in 1863 with the hope that a different climate would improve his wife's failing health. It was there that he first came into contact with Native Americans, an encounter that would change his life and shape his vocation. He returned to Philadelphia in 1867 to become the rector of the Church of the Ascension, but his interest in the church's ministry among Native Americans never waned. In 1871, the House of Bishops of the Church created the missionary district of Niobrara, encompassing much of the Dakotas. A year later, the House of Bishops elected Hare to become the Bishop of Niobrara. Bishop Hare devoted himself to work among the Native Americans in the vast expanse of the territory. While ahead of his time in his approach to mission work, Hare believed it was important to honor as much of the tradition and culture of the people as possible. His desire was not to destroy the fabric of Sioux culture, but to bring the gospel into the midst of it so that the people could also come to know Jesus. Instead of suppressing the customs of the people, he saw them as vessels that could communicate God's grace. In 1883, the House of Bishops divided the missionary dis district of Niobrara into the districts of North and South Dakota. From that point on, Bishop Hare took responsibility for what would become the Diocese of South Dakota. Hare retired from his diocese in 1909 and moved to Atlantic City, New Jersey, where he died that, that same year. His body was returned to Sioux Falls and interred on the grounds of the diocesan cathedral. Bishop Hare's legacy lives on among the Native American populations of South Dakota. About half of the baptized Episcopalians in <clears throat> in the diocese are Dakota or Lakota Sioux. And the diocese also includes two congregations of Sudanese immigrants in Sioux Falls, Bishop Ho William Hobart Hare. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. have mercy. Lord have mercy. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven. Lord be thy name. Thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, earth as it is in heaven. Give us and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry let come, our to you. come to you. Let us pray. Holy God, you called your servant, William Hobart Hare, to proclaim the means of grace and the hope of glory to the peoples of the Great Plains. We give you thanks for the devotion of those who received the good news gladly and for the faithfulness of the generations who have succeeded them. Strengthen us with your Holy Spirit that we may walk in their footsteps and lead many to faith in Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Siblings, God commands us through Jesus Christ to love one another. In our baptism, we promise to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, to strive for justice and peace, 
and to respect the dignity of every human being. Let us honor these our vows and pray for our nation, for wise and just leaders, and for the needs of others throughout our country and the world. We pray for blessings on all peacemakers, on leaders who value peace, and on everyone who promotes nonviolent solutions to conflict. We pray for a speedy end to all violence and warfare around the world, especially in Ukraine and Sudan. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for the strength of heart and mind to look beyond ourselves and to address the needs of our siblings throughout the world, for the rural and urban poor, for the rebuilding of our communities, and for an end to the cycles of violence that threaten our future. God of love, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend our nation to the Lord's care. To, pray, to Joseph, our president, Kathy, our governor, the members of the federal, state, and local legislatures and courts, and to all in authority, wisdom and strength to know and to do the Lord's will. Fill them with the love of truth and righteousness, and make them ever mindful of their calling to serve the people of this land. God of love, in your mercy. In your prayer. We pray for the church militant throughout the world, that it may be an instrument of your healing love. We pray especially for Justin of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Larry, our bishop, Lauren, our rector, Father Mark and Father Dan, and Kurt, our rector emeritus. God of love, in your mercy. In your Lord, prayer. We pray that the Holy Spirit may embrace the most vulnerable members of our society. We pray also for an end to the growing disparity between rich and poor, and for the grace and courage to strive for economic justice. God of love, in your mercy. In your prayer. We pray for an end to prejudice throughout our country and the world. That we will respect all people as precious children of God, and that discrimination based on ethnic, religious, and gender differences will be forever banished from our hearts, our society, and our laws. God of love, in your mercy. In your prayer. We pray for a reverence of all creation, that we will have the tools and the will to conserve it, that we will use its resources in the service of others, and that we will become better stewards of all that has been entrusted to us. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all immigrants, refugees, and pilgrims from around the world, that they may be treated with fairness, dignity, and respect. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all prisoners and captives that a spirit of forgiveness may replace vengeance and retribution, and that we with all the destitute, lonely, and oppressed may be restored to the fullness of God's grace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We pray for all children and families, particularly for the orphaned, neglected, abused, and those who live in fear of violence or disease, that they may be relieved and protected. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, those who seek to learn and those who teach them. Inspire us to break down the barriers that withhold education from your children and enlighten us with bright beams of wisdom so that we may be equipped to seek the blessings of liberty, justice, and peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our, Hear our prayer. Bless, O oh Lord, physicians, nurses, first responders, and all others who minister to the suffering granting them wisdom and skill, sympathy and patience. We pray especially for Dr. Elizabeth Engelman, Dr. Dan Griffin, Dr. Esther E. Knapp, Dr. Rachel Simpson, Kat Bates, Norena Guerra, Karen Liu, Eva Longmeyer, Brenda Marshall, Susan Dietz Massengill, and all those responding to natural and human-made disasters. God of love, in your mercy. In your prayer. We pray for the sick, the aged, and the infirm, remembering especially Hank, Bob, Mark, MB, Marion, Clay, Ty, Frank, Mark, Michael, Kimberly, Tina, Carol, Sue D, Einstein, Todd, Danny M, Pamela, Nat and Nancy, Jude, Sue B, Elsie, Sue M. Sally, David, Jerry, Pearl, James, 
Dawn, Macy, Alice, Brian, Lena, Ian, Doug, Carol, Mother Lauren, Katie, Pam, Peg, Carol W, Donna, Jack, the people of Ukraine and Sudan, those suffering as a result of natural and human-made disasters, and those injured due to gun violence. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. prayer. We commend to you, Lord, all who have died, remembering especially those who have perished so far in the wars in Ukraine and Sudan, those who died as a result of natural and human-made disasters, those killed as a result of gun violence, and all those we remember today in the stillness of our hearts. May they rest in peace. God of love, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, you have promised to hear what we ask in the name of your Son. Accept and fulfill our petitions, we pray, not as we ask in our ignorance, not as we deserve in our sinfulness, but as you know and love us in your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks Thanks to God. To God. And may the blessing of, God, of the God of Abraham and Sarah and of Jesus Christ, born of our sister Mary, and of the Holy Spirit who broods over the world as a mother over her children be upon us and remain with us always. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth into the world, rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.